I'm Kay and I'm a late bloomer. When I first planted orange Thai pepper seeds, I was new to growing peppers and I thought they were like any other chili to grow. Five feet tall and hardy enough to overwinter in temperate zones with numerous bright orange pods that have just enough heat to light up a veggie scramble stir fry or soup, orange Thai chili has become my favorite pepper to grow. I had no idea orange Thai grew any differently than the other varieties I planted last year. In April, I could hardly tell one from the other. By June 1st, my one orange Thai plant didn't stand out. Three weeks passed and I still had no clue. By the 4th of July, while other peppers were fruiting, it was still hiding in plain sight. Two weeks later though, it had made its move. Part of the fun of gardening are the surprises. That's the orange Thai chili pepper, my only one, and it's huge, but it's the only plant that hasn't had any blooms or chilies, but it's still growing. While every other pepper was producing, the orange Thai was nowhere close, but by mid-August, it was four feet tall. I was vigilant, keeping it sprayed against pests. The orange Thai chili was supposed to have been potted up. I bought a five gallon cloth pot to pot that up at least a month ago. Ooh, wait, what's this, what's this, what's this? That's a chili. I got my first glimpse of a Thai chili that day. This plant gets sun by, you know, 8.30 in the morning because it's four feet tall. Uh, and here are these pretty little flowers. Lots of flowers. So I'll have chilies. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. <laughs> but, you know, there's something to be said for just growing chilies just for the enjoyment of looking at them. Later, it was time to pot up. One disadvantage of growing peppers on the upper balcony was lugging them down. It was too top-heavy for this flimsy grow bag, and I had to pot it up again to a seven gallon a month later, after it blew over a couple of times. And my orange Thai chili is now five feet tall in the pot, loaded with blooms at the top, and look what we have here, a chili. The chilies sure took their sweet time to ripen. I had peppers from every other variety, but it would be five more weeks before that same chili turned orange. Two days later, I harvested my first ever orange Thai chili. At the end of October, the plant was loaded. Okay, so I'm standing up <laughs> and reaching in and over. And you see all these, it looks like a Christmas tree. These orange Thai chilies are gorgeous. It was a long time to wait, six months or more, but this stunning harvest was worth it. The orange Thai overwintered on the porch where it was protected from wind. It didn't produce a chili till March and those were tiny. The plant endured a major bug infestation in June, after which peppers started developing. Meanwhile, there was one orange tie in this year's pepper group. It was twice as tall as the other peppers in mid-July. But how many chilies can I eat? Recently, I harvested a basket of orange tie chilies just as my new neighbor walked by. 
and his eyes lit up and he said he'd love to make some pepper jelly. And I thought, great, I'll grow it, you cook it. That's my ideal. <laughs> but I thought, hey, I was harvesting two to three pounds of pineapple guavas every couple of days. So I gave him about five pounds of guavas and this basket of orange tie. And a couple of days later, he comes back with two half pints of pepper jam. Wow, that was so great. I made biscuits for a few days and I thought I can't keep that up. And now I found the perfect way to eat it. Hold on, I just have to go get it. This is raw cheddar cheese with the pepper pineapple guava jam. And here's a pepper I just cut. Dairy kills the heat in peppers. Unlike water or tea, you don't want to drink those after you eat a hot pepper. Uh, but if you have some dairy standing by, that's the way to go. Now, I think I'll try this first and then that. <laughs> I just happened to have some fresh cow's milk in the refrigerator. Oh. Now that's 150,000 and the Phileas Blue that I ate in my Growing Peppers in Pots episode, the one I ate on camera was 40,000 and that was pretty hot. That's about two and a half times hotter and you can feel it definitely. But now let's try the treat from my neighbor. Mm. Oh. oh, sweet. Mm. First you hit the sweet. Mm. And then you hit the pepper. But oh, that is, this is, this is the perfect way to eat hot pepper jelly right on the cheese. <laughs> so the dairy puts out the heat in your stomach. So this is kind of a win-win way to eat it. Mm. This year, something dreadful attacked my peppers and most of my varieties went bye-bye. I have forwarded photos to the Master Gardener Program of Los Angeles and I hope they can help me. Now my orange tie, the one from last year and the one from this year, I finally planted in the ground in about August uh, because they were just too top heavy for cloth pots and they needed more support. So I planted them in the ground, piled them up with wood chips, just about the time that this devastation, I, I think it's some mite or something, we're still trying to figure it out, Maybe a combination of factors. Just about that time, uh, it hit the orange tie. My orange tie pepper survived, barely. There were quite a few orange tie chilies in the last harvest before I eliminated 25 or so plants. Now, most of the leaves are gone, but it still produced chilies and I've sprayed it with neem numerous times and I'm hoping that it can weather it and that they'll both be here next year. <laughs> if not, I am still planting another one because I absolutely love the heat and the color. They're just cheerful. <laughs> and it's the tallest pepper in your garden. Now I got to thinking about those biscuits. I just whipped up some fresh homemade drop biscuits and I got a slab of raw butter on there to uh, put out the fire. Oh yeah. Mm. Even better. Sometimes you've just got to have a fresh homemade biscuit. 
If you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up and share with a friend. I'm Kay. I'm a late bloomer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Really? It puts out the fire in your stomach. I can't talk. Hey, Linda. Come here. People haven't seen you in a while. There you go. Say hi. Say hi up there. Say hi. She goes, no. Ow. Mm.